Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So one more interview question, although it's like very, very simple. And actually one candidate asked me this question, Naveen, can you please solve it? Uh, this question recently asked in one of the uh, startups in Bangalore. So the question is that you have to find out the percentage of uppercase, lowercase, digits and spatial characters in a given string. For example, a given string is this, Naveen Automation Labs. Okay. And in this particular given string, you have to find out how many upper cases are available, for example, and you have to give the percentage of the upper case against the length of this particular string. So 10.7% capital letters are available, lower cases are 60%, digits are 10.71 digit means the numeric digits and other characters including spaces are around 17.86%. So you have to find out like that. Good question, but uh, I think uh, easy one lengthy question but easy one so how to do this so i have uh, created this particular method i'll be passing this string from here and then let's start writing the logic here so <clears throat> what is the first thing that we have to go first thing i'll get the exact length the total number of characters are available right so i'll write the length of the string and i'll write okay fine this is my str dot length i'll be calculating it because what if the length is there that will help me to uh, to get the percentage in the formula that it will fit over there. So let's see. And then I'll declare a couple of variables. For example, let's say uppercase count. So I'll write this is initially equal to zero. And same thing I'll be using for lowercase digits and others. Then what exactly I'm going to do that? I'm going to start a for loop. I have to start iterating this particular, uh, this particular string. So I'll start integer i is equal to zero initially and i less than what? The length of the string, so length of the string is len that we have already captured, i++. And then what exactly the first thing that I'm going to do that, I'll capture the character first. So from this given string, str.character at method, I can use it. Or you can convert that into a two character array also, that also you can do that. Okay. And then up to the array size, that also if you want, you can do that. So I'm using directly character at index is equal to i. And that will give you a specific character. So let's see storing ch is equal to this. Okay, so it means if I'm passing Naveen Automation Lab, so first I'll get n over here, then a and so on like that. And then immediately I'll start writing different if conditions here. And then I can use this a wrapper class character a dot and I can check that okay is uppercase or not. So see this uh, is uppercase, you can check that. And which character the character that you have already captured the ch character if it is uppercase then what exactly i'm going to do that that uppercase count i'm going to increase by one so i'll be writing a plus plus over here that's it same condition i'll be writing for lowercase for digits and for others in that case so i'll do one thing that if it is a lowercase so i'll be writing is a lowercase okay and then in case lowercase plus plus if it is in case of is a digit, let's see, is digit matter is there? Yes. And then do what? It means digits you have to increase by one. So digits plus plus. And uh, if nothing is getting satisfied, it means in case of what? Others. So I'll do one thing. I'll just maintaining one number of else if over here. This is another else if. And then finally, I'm going to maintain one else over here. It means if uh, out of these three conditions are not satisfied, it means there are special characters are available. So I'll do one thing. There's a special characters. I'm going to increase by one plus plus over here like that. So what exactly this guy will do when uh, I'm passing this complete string over here and same guy will be given to this guy str and then initial length is equal to this. Start the loop and check, keep checking each and every character here. Okay. And then when you get the exact character, the specific uppercase or lowercase in that case, what exactly you are going to do that? You just keep increasing the corresponding uppercase count or lowercase count digits or spatial characters. So I'll do one thing that I'm going to maintain because the, it will be a percentage. So a decimal value or floating value we have to maintain. So I'll be writing a double value over here. So I'll write, okay, this is my uppercase uh, percentage, which is equal to what? So how will you calculate the uppercase percentage? For example, like this. So uppercase percentage is equal to what? The final uppercase count that you are getting it multiply by 100.0 right and divide by what divide by the length of the string that we have already calculated so this length of the 
a string here so i'll be writing len here same thing i'll be doing for other guys also and uh, divide by length over here so that's a percentage that you added and then you just need to print it on the console so how exactly you're going to print it so i'll be writing system dot order print ln it means uh, i'll be writing one in and whatever the str that you're printing so in a nice format in the given and then i'll start printing the uh, percentage over here so i'll be writing system dot order print ln i'll be writing that uh, uppercase a uh, percentage and then with some arrow or something like this what the uppercase percentage here the same percentage i'll be printing it and uh, here uppercase lowercase digits and special character you should know the method do the calculation and then start printing it on the console and that's it perfect so let's see if i'm passing this guy is it really working or not okay so i'm passing naveen automation labs or I'll start one thing let's start with naveen so we have only one uh, uh six characters six length is six out of six we have only one capital letter and then rest of things are small and zero a special character and zero space so when you run this let's see what is the output so you see the output is coming like that uh, in the given string naveen that our case is this so i'll do one thing we are everything we are printing inside this same for loop right so i'll do one thing just remove everything from here cut it and then paste out of this for loop otherwise it will just keep printing it on the console right so now let's run it again and let's see the output so now it's giving the output okay in the given string naveen 16.6 percent is uh, uppercase 33 percent this digits are zero percent and special characters are zero percent here okay this is digits and see if you notice one thing right uh the it's coming like 16.6666 like that we can do the formatting up to two after dot up to only two digits you can maintain that so you can use one uh, uh double format class you can use that so how to use that not double format decimal format you can use this so what you can do is that you can create the object of decimal uh, format and here you can define the pattern that which pattern you want so i want uh hash hash dot hash hash it means after dot i want only two character values i mean two digit values and then i'll be using this particular formatter while uh, printing it so i formatter dot format method i'll be using it and just print this guy same thing for other folks also okay so let's run it again so here now it's giving you proper okay in naveen given a string upper case this 16 on 6 7% 83.33% and so on okay so it will do the rounding also automatically so now let's do experiment with some other things this time i'm writing naveen automation labs something like this and while printing this right guys uh, i'll do one thing system dot order print ln i'll be printing some separator over here so you will see the separate output so let's run it again and let's see so the output is coming like that in the naveen automation labs 14.29 is upper case 80% is around lower case zero digits and special characters are 4.76 why because there is one space is also available so it will calculate the space also remember this thing okay then let's see i'll just add some digits now 1 2 3 4 5 so let's see in 1 2 3 4 5 is is really considering or not so let's see it once again in this case yep so the lower case count is getting decreased upper case count is also getting decreased now digits five digits are available so percentage of that uh, those digits against the length of this particular string is 18.52 which is absolutely fine and then we have increased uh, two spaces also that is absolutely working fine and then i'll do one thing that i'll be printing 1 2 3 4 5 and some special characters like this okay and uh, let's see a dollar star or something like that so let's see what is output in this case so a special character count percentage will be increased now so here now it's 28.57 including the spaces and the lower cases are 45.57 and if you uh, count all these uh, four guys it should be 100% so that is absolutely working fine here and what you can do is that just to clarify i mean just to cross check that okay the count of these percentages should be 100 So I'll be writing system dot order print ln. I'll just keep adding this one and uh, digit percentage and the special character plus this. Perfect. So let's run it again and let's see. 
So here you will see the console output. Yes, this is 100.0, perfect, 100.0, 100.0, and this is again 100.0. It means we are getting 100% result, which is absolutely fine if you calculate this. So that's why the calculation is absolutely fine. There is no wrong calculation here. This is a good check that you can check it over here. Okay, the percentage count should be 100. It should not exceed per 100 and it should not be less than 100%. Okay, if you really want to check some more experiment, let's see one single digit if I'm passing. So for example, only this thing I'm passing. In that case, N is coming 100% uh, times. So here you can see N is coming 100% times, which is absolutely working fine here. Same thing if you are passing only one single digit, for example, only one. And in that case, one is again coming in this particular given string one, the digits are 100% in that case. Nice. This is nice. And let's see for a special character also, is it really considering $1 and uh, let's run it again for dollar also in a given a string, the special characters are 100%. And I'll do one thing. I'm writing one and dollar 50, 50%, one 50% digits and 50% uh, special character. So, which is absolutely fine. Nice. And then I'm giving, let's see, uh, only one space. So a special character as a space. 100% and everything will be 0%. So here you can see a special character 100%, everything will be 0%. So this is also absolutely working fine. Okay. So likewise, guys, you can uh, just simple pass the values and you can experiment it. Very, very simple interview question. Good that, okay, maybe uh, for a initial beginner level, people might ask, uh, you know, ask these kind of questions, but uh, yeah, good one. So that's a solution for this. If you have any other solution, Feel free to do that. I'm using the inbuilt methods over here. There is no point to create a separate method to check to uppercase or lowercase. This is not the, let's not divert the topic here. This is what people are expecting. Write a simple logic in your while loop, sorry, in your for loop and get the percentage against the length and then keep printing it in a good format on the console. That's it. So that's all for this particular video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel, share with others. There are a lot of good things are coming on this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.